Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you. And take good care. Yeah. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under our channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Or you can just Google my name, Ralph Friedrichs, R-A-L-F-F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S. This morning I want to talk about God's Word, and it it's meant to be shared. When he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation in Mark 16, uh, 15. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded on you. And remember, uh, I am with you always to the end of age, Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Sharing the good news of the gospel isn't simply a uh, suggestion. It's a command that Jesus set out for us to be a catalyst for the eternal heart change in our neighbors and throughout the world as we share God's word with others. Friends, Romans 10:14 says, How then can they call on, the, uh, on him they have not believed in? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. This passage goes on uh, in verse 17. So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the message about Christ. We most clearly hear the message about Christ in Scripture. And so we know that discipleship does not happen apart from the Word. What a charge to be faithful in sharing. God's Word and the story that He has fulfilled through Jesus should be heard by you and everyone around you of bringing those far from Him into fellowship with Him. For all who have experienced God's saving grace, may God's word bubble out of you like a hot spring 
After all, God's word is meant to be shared. I love that God gives us promise each and every day that when we obey and share, his spirit will do the rest. We can rest in knowing that God's word will not return empty, but it will accomplish what God's uh, what God pleases. Isaiah 55, 11. God could have found many conduits to deliver his message, but he chooses to allow us to join him in the work. It is an honor to be able to share the story of God's grace and mercy that has been revealed to us in the Bible. May we love God's uh, word so much that we cannot keep the good news uh, to, to ourselves. This is one message we can share that never grows stale. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God remains forever in Isaiah 48. And may we be found faithful to our Lord's command. Call me at 844-405. Help. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger and change their day and we can make a difference in your day. You can hear my ducks in the background. God has turned the lights on. Time for everyone to wake up. And for everyone who's listening or watching me, God has given you another 86,400 seconds to live today. Make a difference in someone's life and say thank you to God. Take good care and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.